here today in Epcot at Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. Now Epcot is home to 11 different pavilions showcasing countries from all around the world. And today we will be giving you a comprehensive tour of all the offerings in the Mexico pavilion, including restaurants, merchandise, and other aspects of the extreme theming and immersiveness offered in this pavilion. I'm excited you. Honestly, the Mexico Pavilion is one of my favorites. I'm excited to get into it today. It'll be good. We're starting off the tour today right here in World Showcase Plaza, right on the other side of the line that leads into Mexico. The Mexico Pavilion is home to five different restaurants as well as countless stores. And as soon as you come across the bridge, you will encounter the first restaurant here, La Cantina de San Angel. This is one of a few different quick services here in the Mexico Pavilion, and they have some pretty good options, some pretty good food. I like their cheese empanadas. Yeah, they're actually really good. Really good. Mm -hmm. um, I've heard different things, but they're nachos. I always come here for the cheese empanadas. They also have a variety of different options for drinks, including beer and margaritas. Remember they used to have a sundae? I don't know if they still have it, but oh. it was like a... A margarita or like a tequila sundae? I think it was a tequila sundae, and it had like churros had like and churros tequila. Yeah. Something like that. But I some pretty like, good options. I feel like these are kind of the first things you see when you walk in this pavilion. Yeah. And I feel like these are some of the more busier things too because sometimes it's hard to get a table at this place. Yeah, yeah. One tip I will give though, if you come earlier in the day, like before three, if you go this way and just around the corner, there is indoor seating. It's not open later in the day because it's used for um, La Hacienda, which is another restaurant we'll be showing. But earlier in the day, they do open it up for quick service seating, which is really nice. You can go in there and get some air conditioning. They also have another kind of quick service stand over here. Choza de Margarita, I believe. They have margaritas. They have, I think, empanadas yeah. and like um, tostadas so, maybe. Even though it is a margarita stand, and that's what it is, Yeah. they do have some food options as yeah, well. So. Yeah, some pretty good options yeah, too. I believe every single restaurant here, even the um, tequila bar inside has some food too, mm -hmm. so very cool. It is worth noting that these places are all third party owned, so they do not have mobile order. So you may have to wait in a little bit of a line if you are coming to these locations. I also feel like the Mexico Pavilion is probably like the most unique out of all the Disney Epcot pavilions because a majority of it's inside, but you still have some outdoor stuff as well. So it's kind of a really weird thing. Majority of the stuff you're gonna be seeing is gonna be inside the pavilion, but um, it's just fun to explore, especially great on hot days when you need air conditioning as well. I gotta say, I don't really know how Disney does it. Now, I've never been to Mexico before, but from what I've heard, it is very, very hot. And today it is also very, very hot. So that's one uh, point for Disney. That's true. Yeah. Except when you go indoors and it's like cold. That is true, so which brings know. us to the official, kind of like the icon yeah. of the um, pavilion, the pyramid here. I love it's a very nice pyramid. Every single pavilion has like a different like icon. Yeah. So like you have the pyramid here, you have the Stave Church over in Norway. Mm -hmm. um, this kind of acts as like a very cool pyramid, a very cool icon for this pavilion. And I think it works very well. It's something that you can put on a water bottle put on Epcot merchandise and everybody will know oh, that's the Epcot, that's the Mexico Pavilion. Yeah. Getting a closer look at this pyramid, I believe it was inspired by Aztec and Mayan pyramids and art. And it is home to an attraction and I think two restaurants and some stores. Yeah. It's very nice in there. I yeah. love like the ambience and all the different things. I'll say many people that come here are probably like confused. Mm -hmm. How do you get in this pyramid? You Gosh. have to climb the pyramid? Yeah, you have to climb have those to, like, stairs there. Dig a hole under the pyramid to oh, get inside. Hello. There are doors right here up these stairs. Yeah. So without further ado, I think we're gonna head inside. It's always crazy to me as well. Like if you look up here, like all this detail was done just to cover up the building right there. And if you look like majority of the guests aren't even gonna look at this. But the amount of detail, the amount of thoughtfulness they put into this work here, I think that's so awesome. I know. He's really Sassy, you know. All right, we have made it inside the pyramid, and immediately when you come in, they have like this kind of gallery museum type area. They actually have these in a lot of the pavilions if you yeah. look for them. I think it's nice. It's kind of, it's like Coco themed, but they still incorporate a lot of aspects of actual like culture into it. So it's pretty cool to see. I love just like the architecture in here too, because yeah. The pyramid itself, this is the pyramid. Yeah. So you can see yeah. like, the wall itself kind of looks like it's leading up like it's a pyramid. Mm -hmm. And once you go into the next big room, that's where it kind of turns into like the, the village that you enter. Yeah. This pavilion is really jam packed with details. And it's one of those pavilions where if you're here and you look around, like every single time you go in this place, you notice something different, which is awesome. That being said, I think we're gonna kind of take a different approach to this. We actually have a reservation for dinner over at Sun Angel Inn, which is the restaurant in here. 
So we're gonna head over to our dinner, we'll eat our dinner, and then afterwards, we'll kind of show some of the more details around this area. Heading past the gallery, we enter into what is called the Plaza de los Amigos. I'm always like, every time I walk in this place, I'm like, there's so much like the scale of everything looks incredible. We are up here still on like this kind of second level and you'll head down the ramp on either side. In this big area, it's mostly just shopping like different merchandise and things, but this is all one store, I believe. So you can pay for anything at any of the kiosks from what I understand. There is also La Cava de Tequila over there. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. And then over here, there's one of those um, Arribas Brothers. Yeah, the glass store. Yeah, and you can go in there and see they do like the demonstrations blowing the glass. It's very compact. Yeah. Right next to that is the ride, and that's where the restaurant where we're dining at today will be. Yeah, yeah. We'll show a little bit of a closer look as we go on, but this was just kind of a general overview of where everything is. So over here right by these trash cans is where we are just standing. And then if you come down the ramp, you can see there's this general area here. And immediately you come to these little hand-carved animals. Look at these. They're all hand-carved, hand-sanded, and hand-painted. And according to this thing here, it takes three days to make a single one. Yeah. These are pretty cool. So this this one is fifty four dollars. Yeah, yeah. It's small, but like it's extremely detailed. Yeah, yeah. Fifty four dollars. Mm -hmm. You can see this is a little bit more detailed. Look, there's like all the different curves on that. That's one hundred and twenty because they had to do all the extra work. Look at that tail. That's hand carved. And along with the ones over here, you also have a lot of smaller ones over here. Um, there's just so many of these things. And as we go further into the pavilion, you'll see some other more like authentic things from Mexico throughout this pavilion. But these are just super cool to look at, even if you don't get one. Um, you can even watch the cast member over here. I believe most of the cast members here are actually going to be from Mexico. And he's actually making some of these things. And you can watch him make... Look at the big flamingo. Oh, look at the flamingo. Yeah. That's probably like a thousands of dollars right there. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Right next to that is also where you'll find the KidCot area. This is where you're going to come to get your passport stamped to do the KidCot fun spot coloring and everything. Um, so, as we talked about in the other videos, every pavilion is going to have one of these. It's kind of a fun interactive game for kids to play. And um, you do get a sticker every single place you go to as well. It's also very cool that the cast member at the kid con actually, nine times out of ten, lived in the country yeah. that you're visiting, so they can actually, you can ask questions. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they'll even see your name in the language, which is awesome too. Moving on from that section, you have this nice fountain here followed by all the little shops and stores. I think this is probably Goo's favorite area. Oh. With like the... This is a masterpiece. Yeah. I love this thing. So this is from the ride. This yeah. is this is like one of the ride vehicles. And then so, it has plushes of the three Caballeros we'll in there. We'll get to the ride in a minute, but the ride is themed around Donald and the three Caballeros. Yeah. So you have a lot of three Caballeros merchandise. This is very cool because it's a full boat. What's it, 40 or 50? $40. Yeah. Well, you get three plushes in a boat too, so I don't think it's terrible. Along with the plushes for the three Caballeros, they also have this nice throw. And along with it, they have all these different things. Look at this like um, lounge fly here. That's pretty cool. It has the pyramid behind it. I think it glows in the dark. I think it does, yeah. It? Seems like I heard that before. Yeah, it yeah, glows, yeah. In, the glows dark. in the dark. So do oh, the ears as well. Look on the back too. That's the bird. That guy's from the movie, from the movie I think, yeah. yeah. I also really like this poncho here. Look, it has the three Caballeros on it up there. They had a and very then nice, down here, it says oh, Epcot, cool. yeah. They have a very nice button up shirt, but they're sold out right oh, now. Oh, nice. So. Very devastating. Yeah. Well, either way, the ears are nice. Yeah. Look, they have a nice bow on them. Oh, look, the bow is removable. Oh, cool. So okay. if you don't want to have the yeah. bow on there, That's I guess fun. you can take it off. I'll help you put this back on. Yeah. They also have a mug here. Look at that. So this is like a movie mug, like, Yeah. I think, yeah. There you go. It's got the characters on it and then the name on the back. I feel like there's a lot to look at in this store. That being said, our reservation for our food is about right now. That is so true. So I think we're gonna go check in. We're gonna go eat at this restaurant. And we'll bring you guys along. Over here, what we'll be eating is San Angel in Restaurante. We've eaten over here before and the food hasn't really been anything that spectacular. That being said, just like a lot of other Disney restaurants, you're not really eating here for the food. You're more eating because of what the restaurant is. I mean, look at it. Right over there, that's the ride. Yeah. And there's like a big pyramid there and a volcano. So a little bit of like, context yeah this is the ride right here yeah this is the line for the yeah. ride and then you There's go on the a entrance. ride with the three cabaros mm -hmm. and then this is where the restaurant is so without further ado i think we're gonna go get seated i'm starving so i need some food yeah oh we are officially seated here oh this is great look the napkin looks like the pyramid yeah i guess so it does so it's, it's very themed yeah. like i feel immersed in a theme in here but this is great we got a table right next to the water right along the water yeah this is nice Got the pyramid right there. 
the ride coming by. This is great. Yeah. It's cool because you can see all the people enjoying the ride as we eat here today, so it's great. I haven't been here in a long time, so it'll be awesome. And considering this restaurant is a little bit darker, they do have your own, your very own table lamp. Yeah. This is fancy. Look at this thing. Very That's nice. awesome. But you can kind of bring your menu up to the lamp and look at everything. The menu looks pretty straightforward, but you can see there's flowers all over the menu. Um, I don't know, I really don't know what to expect here, but you have guacamole as appetizer, queso. I don't know, a little bit of different things, but I feel like we're gonna have to be a little bit adventurous here today. I also do have the carne asada, which appears to be one of their more signature stuff. Also, one of the things I do want to point out, a lot of the drinks they have here are from the um, tequila bar, I think. Yeah, right? yeah. the same. So, I don't know if they're made over there, but yeah. like they're the same. They're connected, so I wouldn't be surprised, but you do have the world famous avocado margarita, which I don't really like margaritas, but I guess that's pretty famous around here. Also, the other side of the menu has a more expanded drink menu, which appears that they do have quite a bit of things here. Pretty good menu. We're going to look over everything, see what we get into, but so far so good. Off to a good start. Another thing I do want to point out, it does say Mexico City since 1963. Gosh. So apparently this restaurant has a lot of history to it, and yeah. apparently it was here. It was somewhere, it was in Mexico before Epcot. We did place our orders now. They have agave straws, which are the best straws. They're like, they're not paper, yeah. but they're not like plastic, they're agave. Well, I think now is the time where we dismantle the pyramid. Yeah, very nice. There you go. So I think now I can conclude that the meal's officially started, the festivities are here, and food will be coming non-stop from now on. Looks like our first course is here. This was the Totopo or something like that on the menu. It's I think that's dollars. how you say it, yeah. yeah. It basically just means chips, but it also comes with some cheese dip here and some salsa. You wanna give it a try, Goo? I feel like in the past here, their queso is a little bit more, I mean, non-traditional to us. Maybe it's more traditional. Well, they have that too. This is, oh, okay. this is just what comes with this one. It's different than the like queso I'm used to. Yeah. But it's, it's not queso, it's yeah, cheddar cheese, yeah, I think. Cheese. It so it's like nacho like, dip almost. It tastes like nacho dip, but less like nasty flavor. You know like when you get nachos and they're like nasty and it yeah. tastes like you got them from Costco in the giant can? Yeah. This tastes a little bit better than that. Matt tried the salsa. What do you mm -hmm. have to say? I don't know if I would really call it salsa. It's more like, I don't know, some kind of sauce. Almost like enchilada sauce. It's good, it's spicy. I like it. I don't know if Koo mentioned this before, but if you don't buy this thing, you don't get the chips. There might be other appetizers that include chips, but chips are not included in the meal at all. So you do have to pay for them. They're kind of an interesting chip too. Yeah, I think they're good. I like they're these good. Um, weird foreign ones. I don't know what you call these. I like them. But either way, the atmosphere is very nice in here. That's really what you're paying for. It's nice. Another thing to mention is they do have ginger ale, but it comes in a little bottle like that, so no refills on that one either. But our food is here. It looks very good. Yeah. What'd you get? You you got the enchiladas. This is the enchiladas de pollo, which is corn tortillas filled with chipotle chicken covered in salsa verde, crema mexicana, co cotija, co coticha, uh, the cheese, the cheese, whatever it is. Crispy onion straws atop of beans. Served with plantains with that cheese on top of yeah. it. So this looks good. Yeah, looks very good. Mama Goo got the tacos, the fish tacos. Fish tacos. Yeah, they, they look really, really nice. Yeah. And then I got the shrimp diablo or something like that. It's like a spicy shrimp. It looks really nice. All of this looks good. It smells good. Yeah, I mean, I went here a while ago. I wasn't impressed. This looks like a huge improvement for yeah. me. So I'm ready to eat. Also coming, it seems like the portions seem pretty good. Got a All decent right. amount of enchiladas there. The enchiladas look good. I almost wish I would have gotten that. It's good. It's very hot. I need to wait a couple minutes to give a proper review or anything. Yeah. But it looks good. Looks very good. Good amount of filling. A decent sized tacos as yeah, well. A yeah. Fish. Those are full. Yeah. You want to try yours? Yeah, I guess I will. I'll give you the camera. I'll take the camera from you. Well, let me get a piece of this. So this is just shrimp. Yeah, it's on shrimp top with of like rice. A spicy Let's sauce. Your water. Try it out. It is good, the sauce is really nice. The shrimp is cooked good. It's good. It's nothing like incredible, like spectacular, but if you've ever, if you've ever had this before, it's what you would expect, it's good. The more I eat of this, the more I really do enjoy this. I think this is probably one of the best things I've gotten at this restaurant before. The chicken is nice, the flavor is pretty good. Surprisingly very filling as well, which I was very happy with. It's difficult when you have food here because you have so many different restaurants around World Showcase. 
but this was surprisingly pretty decent compared to last time I've been here. Pretty good. I gotta say this place is hard to beat. You can see to our right, it's like a nice little city. To our left, we have the ride going by. Some nice like water sound. You got the pyramid there, an erupting volcano. And then towards the middle, you have a wonderful meal. Yeah, and if that wasn't good enough, someone came by and dropped off some Mickey stickers, oh. which was very nice. This is very fun. I love going here. I love just sitting here and watching the boats go by. Um, I mean, this is great. You got your sticker there, Goo. Very nice. I mean, you can't beat this. We're literally sitting in the Mexico Pavilion. Even if the food was terrible, um, I feel like it just, it's great to sit here. We have a Mickey sticker. Um, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I just love this pavilion. This is my favorite pavilion, I think. Um, and it's just great to be here. It's awesome. We also decided to get dessert here, and this looks very good. So I believe this is their special seasonal thing. This is the corn three ways, actually. This is like um, sweet cornbread, and then I think that's sweet corn gelato. And then this is, it said elote, but he said it's like... Um, it's it's not corn, it looks yeah. like corn. It's, it's like chocolate. Tri chocolate with um, like whipped cream in the center or something like that. So it looks really good. I'm excited. I want to see what this looks like. Yeah, this so one. I'm going to go into it. It's totally right. Let's get a little, yeah. Oh, it's hard to get into. Gosh. Where'd it go? What's this? So it's like a plate. chocolate shell. Oh, no. And then it has stuff in the center. Um, That's interesting. Interesting. Yeah. I should have just picked it up. Oh, look, there's like little corns in it. Oh, interesting. I don't know what to do with this thing, but I'm intrigued. Yeah. I have all Who has corns. all three of them? That's very good. The corn gelato is very light. It's not very corny. It's very, um, it's very refreshing. The chocolate is very chocolatey, but you get a little bit of the corn, the sweetness. The cake, I'm very intrigued by the cake because this one has a little bit more spices on it. Oh, that's more like your standard Tris Leches cake. That's supposed to be like a sweet cornbread. Yeah. But I guess it's, yeah, interesting. It's very good. I feel like there's all kinds of stuff like this stuff here. Yeah. It looks like um, mashed up Oreos. Mm -hmm. I feel like you can kind of mix them together. These are my favorite kind of desserts where you can kind of play with it and like make your own flavor. But this is this is great. Now that we are all done, we did get our check. And I will say they did give us 10% off pass holder discount. Don't forget to check for a discount if you are here. That's not the biggest shock. Though. Yeah, so they brought our check in. It's kind of dark in here, like you can't really see what you're doing. Yeah. So they have a light up pen so that you can see when you're signing. So it's that's pretty thing. cool. It's like um, Roundup Rodeo when they used to have the giant pencils on yeah, yeah. your table. I don't think it compares to that, but it was a good meal. I'm glad we got to bring you along. We got to use the light up pen. I don't know what else we could have wanted here, so I'm pretty happy. Well, all right, that was San Angel in Restaurante. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was good. Like, last time I went here, it was okay. Mm -hmm. Like, it was definitely one of those restaurants that you go purely for the atmosphere. I feel like today was definitely a step up. It wasn't anything I'd give, like, a 5 out of 5, but the food had flavor. It was good. It yep. was fresh. Um, and the atmosphere was awesome, so I really liked it. Yeah, I thought it was worth going yeah. to. Going from there, though, during the meal, Goo was barely able to sit down. He was restless because he was so excited to see the rest of the useless junk. I know. Are you excited and to the see ride. the rest of it, Goo? Yeah, and the ride. the ride. Yeah. But it'll be good. We're just going to explore, see some details, do some shopping. Yeah. I think it'll be pretty fun. I think this area is by far one of my favorite places of all the stores here because you have a lot of like foods and different things that they might have in Mexico. So I guess this is like a hot sauce. I guess, I don't know what this is, like a fruity hot sauce. You also have like different chocolates and different like candies that they may eat in Mexico. So I feel like this is always one of my favorite things about all these pavilions, trying like pre-packaged foods that you might actually find in said country. This is cool too, look, they have vanilla extract from Mexico. Oh, that's yeah. Got these little oh. like ice cream cones. I feel like I've tried those before. They're caramel filled wafer cones. Oh. Interesting. I feel like when I was young, when I was in Spanish class, they brought those in Spanish yeah, class for some like something, yeah. But lots of really cool stuff here. I love all these like snacks and different things. Down here look they have yeah. cups with the um tequila. Yeah, the tequila on bar logo on them. They actually have a decent amount of merchandise for the I know, bar yeah. over behind you. 
They have shorts. Yeah, they have shorts they have and everything. The tequila bar is very, very popular here. I do like these things up above too. Oh yeah. All the characters are on them too. So lots of really cool details all around this pavilion. I also always like to look at all like these glass figurines you can buy as well. I believe There's these are pig. also made in Mexico. Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. Made in Mexico. So how much is that? Uh, $12.99. $12.99. So these are definitely a little bit more cheaper, but I believe they are hand painted. Yeah. And um, these are just very cool to look at. This one's like a It's box. like a little shrink box, yeah. Oh. So oh that's tape closed, that's but, cool. Yeah, yeah, this one's not, but that's cool. Another one of my favorite places to explore in this pavilion is over here in the glass shop. So I think we're going to head in there. And then afterwards, we're going to take a ride over on the Grand Fiesta Tour, the one and only attraction here in the Mexico Pavilion. This will be awesome. Very similar to the other Arriba's Brothers stores. There is usually a person here like working with the glass behind the glass. Mm -hmm. And then also they just have a lot of really cool These pavilion exclusives. It's kind of like the cactus. The cactus has the stem. stem. Yeah. So says Mexico cool. has a lot mm -hmm. of things on it. And then you also have another one. Same design, but it says three cabrillos on it. And it has oh, all yeah. the three cabrillos. Kind of hard to see on camera, but that's very cool. And these are only $27. I also think these are really cool too, like the little shot glasses with the mm. like pyramid on it. And they do personalization as well. So if you want to personalize one of these mugs, there's a cool Lapcom one as well. Oh, look at this one. Oh. As Mickey. When it says there Mexico. we go, focus on. Yeah. That's so cool. Look at these like painted hand fans. Look at this one, it's World Showcase and it has different characters playing instruments. That's really cool, that's $30. Oh, those are neat. I've never seen those before. Even non-glass stuff they have in here, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. I believe in the other glass stores, they also have these TRs, but here they have some special ones because it talks about the quinceanera, and it says it's a birthday celebration when you turn 15. Quinceaneros will wear a formal dress and select a special tiara for the many events of the day. So they have special tiaras for it too. Look, they even have one that says 15 on it. This store here next to the glass store, I guess they used to have like fine jewelry and accessories according to the sign, but now it's just kind of like a cocoa store, pretty much. Just cocoa stuff. They used to have birds you could get. Oh, that's true. They the used to have, like, handmade birds. Yeah. I don't see them anymore. Fish, Maybe they come and go. Yeah. This store is also home to the Barrel of Dasani. <laughs> I like the theming. Yeah, it's, a, like very, the it's a very cool yeah. barrel. Maybe I we'll find one at the antique mall. I, if I, if you're ever buying a Dasani at Epcot, you might as well buy it from the barrel. Mm. That's my, my goo tip of the day. But I love the theming in here. Um, kind of lightly going with Coco, but it works. It's nice in here. I also like this map a lot. Look at this. You have oh, all the yeah. different areas in Mexico. Yeah, it's Mexico. Yeah. You can see it like labels all the different spots. There's like so much detail. You could spend like an hour looking at this thing, yeah, yeah. but that, that's super cool. Well, at this point we have officially looked at the merchandise. We tried some food. We checked out some details. And I think the moment we've all been waiting for is finally here. You know what that is? I don't know. We're gonna go ride the ride. Oh. Yeah. You may be best. For your safety, remain seated. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat. And if you have children with you, please watch. Yes. Bienvenidos.
catch us on tour. This pavilion is so weird because so many of the things are indoors. Yeah. But there's like a couple small things outdoors as well. Yeah, we showed most of what was outside. There was the quick service and the margarita stand. Yeah. There's also another restaurant that's like inside, but not inside here. It's outside. Yeah. So we'll take a look so at that. And then other than that, there's the area where Mariachi Cobre performs, and there's that little place where they carve the rings. Yeah, yeah. So, but it's just kind of weird because Mexico, you don't really have another pavilion in Epcot that's like fully indoors. Yeah, yeah. So I just love the novelty of this. This is one of my favorite pavilions. Before we did make our way out, I decided to make a stop here in the La Cava del Tequila to get myself a margarita. Yeah. This one, I don't remember exactly what was in it. I got it because it was named after Maelstrom, which was the old ride in, um... Yeah. Was it named especially off of it, or was it just... I don't know. A random coincidence? I guess we'll never know. It looks good, though. It looks very... Yeah, it's, um... Let's see. Tequila, lime juice, orange liqueur, ginger passion fruit cordial, um, mezcal, homemade habanero-infused rum, and black ant salt rim. There you so go. Looks really good. It was $18. So black what? Much. Black ant salt rim. What's that? It's black ants. It's actually an ant? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. I, I have no clue. I don't know. It looks like ants, kind I of. I don't want an ant. Maybe they grind the ants you up. And... Just drink the drink, please. Right, let's see. Thank you. I've never been in the La Cava de Tequila before. Yeah, it's yeah. a nice place. You can get chips and queso. He oh. warned me it was spicy. And it is actually really spicy. <laughs> yeah. It's good, but wow. That does have some, some spice to it. I feel like at Disney World, whenever they say spicy, that doesn't mean very spicy because... Yeah. Most tourists don't want spicy well, stuff. Well, he said it was a little bit spicy. Yeah. So it's got a little spice to it. It's a little bit more than a little bit, but there it's still good. There you go. Well, now that we got an official tour of the inside of the Mexico Pavilion, I think we're going to go outside to finish our details, show you guys some of the other things out there. And I think we'll kind of wrap up our tour here today. With that being said, it's been great to bring you along, show you all the details. I've had fun. I think it's been a pretty cool day so far. There really isn't too much more of the Mexico Pavilion. Honestly, right outside the pyramid, that's where the quick service was, and right here is La Hacienda, yep. which is basically a very similar restaurant to Indoors, except it's in this separate building out here, and it is on the water, too. It's basically the same, like, the same menu. Yeah. It's run by the same people, everything. It's just a different... You can see the water. If you go at the right time, you can get a view of the fireworks. Yep. It's a good place to it's go It's a to. pretty fun place. We'll have to make it there one of these days. Yep. But other than that, there's a couple things over here, so we'll go over here. We'll talk about those. Should be pretty good. It is a little bit late right now, but across the street from La Hacienda, right to the right of the pyramid, is this is this is where you meet Donald. Yeah. So Donald's out here with like um all his he festive wears like his sombrero yeah. and his poncho. Yeah. He'll meet usually until about five, I yeah. believe, is when they stop moving. But this is cool. It's kind of a fun backdrop. It's kind of a separate area, but that's pretty cool. Also, right here, right outside of La Hacienda, is where the ring carver is. Yeah. So the ring carver opens at 12:30. I, I guess they stay till closing, but they can actually carve rings, and I think it's about thirty dollars too. They carve like your name into their early. Like, yeah. And it, there's a certain limit of characters they can do, but they'll carve letters or different things like that. That's it cool. It starts at thirty dollars. Yeah. That's very cool. Also, over here, right next to the ring carver, you have a little bit of um, standing tables. And then you also have some pressed pennies here. We have some cocoa pressed pennies. As usual, $1 per penny, or if you want all eight, it's $5. And then right here on the very end of the La Hacienda building is actually where all the entertainment performs. So Mariachi Cobre, um, they have another band that performs here as well, but everyone does perform out here unless if it is raining, they do perform inside as well. Mm -hmm. But um, for the most part, nine times out of 10, you'll see them out here. But from this point until you get to Norway, it's just pretty much walkway. You can kind of enjoy a little bit of World Showcase as you're walking by. And then as usual, as we've seen in the other videos, here's the line where we walk into Norway. So this officially shows the end of the Mexico Pavilion. So I guess this is the end. This is where you go into the next Norway Pavilion. We will make it there eventually, but um, yeah, this is where our journey ends for the day. But I think that is about it for today. We will leave you standing on the stage of the Mariachi Cobra. This is great. My, one of my favorite. Uh, Mariachi Cobra is like my favorite entertainment in all of Epcot. So yeah. it's always great to see them. Hopefully you enjoy coming along, checking out all the fun things here in the Mexico Pavilion. I always love doing these pavilion tours. Hopefully you guys enjoy coming along as well. But if you guys are watching, make sure you do comment. Let us know which pavilion to go to next. Yeah. There are 11 World Showcase pavilions, and we've done three so far, so we have, what, eight more? Yep, yep. So either way, we've had a very fun day here today. If you guys are coming in, don't forget to make sure you hit that like button. Also, make sure you subscribe as well. But from there, I think we're going to wrap it up. 
And as usual, I'm Goo. I'm Matt. That's Mariachi Cobra. And you're you. And we both wish a Goo to each and every one of you. Thank you all so much for coming along. We will see you all very soon. Thanks, everybody. Porque la cueva